Mabuhay! Ako po si Deborah Garcia. Hi! I'm Deborah Garcia and welcome to another lesson where you will learn practical Filipino language in just a few minutes. This is brought to us by NEC TV, the local TV channel here in Nipua, Manitoba. We'd love to hear your thoughts about our video, so if you have some comments or suggestions, please write them below or you can send them directly to NECTV at wcgwave.ca. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and please like and share this video. Today, we are going to learn some more sentences in formal Filipino and in conversational Filipino. In the next lessons, maybe we can stop translating our sentences into formal Filipino and then let's try translating them directly from English to the conversational Filipino. I prepared a picture here for you. We are going to focus our discussion on the picture here. This is at the airport and Airport in Filipino is Paliparan. Okay, but before we construct our sentences using this picture here, we are going to study some of the vocabulary words first that we are going to use in our sentences. So the first one, passenger. Passenger in Filipino is pasajero. Airplane in Filipino is aeroplano. Announcement is patalastas, though but we also use patalastas when we mean advertisement. But for announcement, we use the same word, patalastas. Run, I think I gave this in my previous lesson when we were discussing about verb conjunction. So, takbo. Run, takbo. And then we are going to conjugate them, future ta takbo, present tumatakbo. Past, tatakbo. Okay? New. New is bago. But this word bago, we also use this as preposition. So before. We say before when we say bago. But for this one, it's still bago. Clean is malinis. Read. Basa. So future, magbabasa. Present, nagbabasa. Past, nagbasa. Okay? Airport is paliparan. I already mentioned this one earlier, but actually, you don't have to like remember this translation because we really do not use paliparan when we mean airport. We say airport, okay? Paliparan, this word is only being used in written Filipino or formal Filipino. Okay, take kuha. I don't think I included this one in the examples for verb conjugation, but present, no future, kukuha. Present, kumukuha. And uh, past is kumuha. That's the conjugation. Picture. Picture is larawan. I think there's another term, is litrato. Literato. So, literato, but we don't use these two. This is formal. So, we say picture, okay? Just use picture. But in our sentences, we would need to use the Tagalog translation or the Filipino translation for each word. Big. This is a very popular word, big. And malaki is the translation. Wide is malawa. Okay, now I think we are going to do some sentences now. So let's take one sentence at a time. The first one is the passengers run towards the gate. If you've just watched the lesson before this, then the SVO pattern is still fresh. So we need to see if this sentence is an SVO pattern and then we are going to convert them into formal Filipino, which is in SVO pattern as well, and then in conversational Filipino, which is the uh, VSO pattern, okay? So let's see, the passengers, this is our S. This is the subject. Run is our verb. 
um, towards is the, what do you call this, the uh, preposition, and then the gate is your object, so S, V, O. If I'm going to translate this in formal Filipino, I am still going to use the S, V, O pattern that I would say the passengers, so I'll start with, what is passengers again? Pasajero, right? Passenger is pasajero, but this is plural, so we are going to put mga to indicate that this is plural. So ang, that is ang, ang, mga, pasajero, ay, run is in the present tense, so I would say tumatakbo, Towards is papunta. Papunta sa. The object is gay. We don't have a direct translation like Filipino translation for the gate, so we are still going to use the word gate. So, ang mga pasahero ay tumatakbo papunta sa gate. So, we have the same pattern. Mga pasahero is our subject. Tuma ay tumatakbo. Now I added some, I added a linking verb here ay, and then so our full verb would be ay tumatakbo. So this is your verb, and sagay is your object. So it's still the same s v o s v o formal Filipino or written Filipino. Now for conversational Filipino, what is the pattern? V S O verb subject object. So we'll start with our verb, but we are not going to include our linking verb. We can't start. We can't start our sentence with a linking verb. We are just going to focus on the original sentence. So our verb is run, and it's in the present tense. So I would say tumatakbo. I'll start my sentence with tumatakbo. So I'll say tumatakbo. And then our subject who. Ang mga pasahero. Tumatakbo ang mga pasahero. And then I'm just gonna copy this one. Papunta sa gate. So our object. Papunta sa gate. So if I'm going to translate this in English word forward, I'd say run the passengers towards the gate. That's how it would sound because this is verb, this is subject, and this is our object. So V S O. And this is the conversational Filipino. Now let's go to sentence number two. The airport is big and wide. So what is airport again in Filipino? Paliparan, right? We are not using that one, but still, for the sake of um, writing sentences in Filipino, then we are going to use palibaran. So, the airport here is our subject, and our verb is this one. It's a linking verb. So, the airport is, and then big and wide are what? Adjectives. So, SVA pattern, the, the first sentence that I gave you is an SVO, subject, verb, object. This one is subject, verb, adjective. And if you can still remember, we translated this pattern in the previous lesson too. So, they change. But before that, before we convert them into conversational Filipino, we need to translate this one in formal Filipino with the same pattern. So. The airport is ang paliparan. Ang paliparan. What is the linking verb? Ay. Ang paliparan ay. What is big? Malaki. Wide is malawa. So, and in Filipino is at. So, I would say ang paliparan ay malaki. Malawa. So, ang paliparan is the subject, the airport. 
this is our verb, a linking verb. Malaki at malawak is our are our adjectives. So SBA and this one is SBA. Same format because it is the form of Filipino. Now let us convert this one into conversational Filipino. If you've just watched the lesson yesterday, you would know that adjective would come first if it is conversational. So we will start with malaki at malawak. Okay? Malaki at malawak. And then in uh, the, the past lesson, I already told you that if we do not have the real verb and we only have the linking verb, we can uh, copy this one here because in conversational Filipino, we don't use this one anymore. Then we just go directly to the subject. So, malaki at malawak ang paliparan. There. So our pattern will just be A and then S. So we only have the adjectives and the subject here. Now we omitted our linking verb. So in conversational Filipino, we just say malaki at malawa ang paliparan. And that is already understood. If you are going to say this one in English, it will be big and wide, the airport. No linking verb anymore. Finally, I got two sentences for you on the board. So the first one is, the airplanes are new and clean. The other one is, John is taking a picture. Now, I'm going to identify the pattern and then I'll give you time to convert or to translate these sentences in formal Filipino and convert them, convert them into conversational Filipino. So the first one, the airplanes, is our subject. And this is our verb, are new and clean. What are they? These are adjectives, right? So the pattern is SVA. SVA. And when you convert this into formal Filipino, you'll use the same pattern. But when you are going to convert them into conversational Filipino, then you would need to start with the adjective, right? I'll give you time to do that. Second one. John is taking a picture. John is our subject. Is. And then taking. Linking verb, the main verb. So our uh, full verb is, our complete verb is, is taking. And then a picture here is our object. So how are you going to translate this in Filipino? The airplanes. I gave you the vocabulary words earlier. What are airplanes? Aeroplano, but this is plural, so you put mga, M-G-A, so da, you know what is da, we always translate da, what is da in Filipino? It's ang, right? Airplanes is mga, aeroplano, it's plural, R, you remember, all linking verbs in Filipino is I, A-Y, new is in the vocabulary words earlier, new is bago, at, and is at clean is uh, malines, bago at malines. So, um, okay, you, you translate that one in Filipino. Just try it, okay? And then John is taking a picture. John is, another linking verb here, this is I. Taking is in the present tense. So, take is kuha, taking is kumukuha. And then picture is larawan or litrato. Though we can, we are using picture when we mean picture, but for the sake of writing the sentences in Filipino, then you should use the Filipino term for picture, and that is larawan or litrato if you want. Okay?
time is up. So did you figure out how to translate these two sentences here in uh, formal Filipino and conversational Filipino? Did you even try? So let's do this together. So the airplanes. The airplanes is ang... Um, and then I said we need to use mga because this is plural. Ang mga aeroplano. What is your linking verb? Are, right? In Filipino, there's only one linking verb. Ay. Ang mga aeroplano ay new is bago. And is at. Bago at. And then clean is malinis. So this is formal Filipino. It has the same pattern. Airplanes is your S, R is your V, and new and clean is your A. So in Filipino, mga aeroplano is your S. This is your linking verb, I, and bago at malinis are your um, adjectives. So ang mga aeroplano ay bago at malinis. Now, we are going to convert this one into conversational Filipino. Then we'll say, we'll start with um, the adjectives, right? So, bago at malinis. And then, since we don't have a real verb, we only have the linking verb, then we are not going to copy that one. We are in conversational Filipino. We don't we don't use linking verbs, so we don't use this word I. Then we we'll go directly to your subject. So bago at malinis ang mga aeroplano. There you go. I hope you got the same translation. All right, number two. John is taking a picture. John is your subject. Is taking is your uh, complete verb, and then picture a picture is your object. So S V O. Translate this one in formal Filipino. So we'll use the same pattern, and also because we are talking about John, and in the past lessons I always mention this that when it is uh, name of a person or even not a proper name of a person, even for example father. So we always put this uh, word, C. It's a personal topic maker. It's a direct marker for person. So C, John. We are going to use this word. C, John is taking. So we have a linking verb, so we'll copy that. C, John, I, taking in the present tense, kumu, kuha. Si John ay kumukuha ng larawan. Actually, because you have an article A here, so a picture, it indicates singular uh, object, right? So, ay kumukuha ng, actually you can add, in Filipino you can say isang larawan. Isa means one. So you can insert that one here or you can... You can just remove that one. So, si John ay kumukuha na larawan. Or if you want to be really specific with your translation, then you'll say, si John ay kumukuha na isang larawan. It's singular. Okay, that's formal Filipino. Now, I'm going to translate this one into conversational Filipino. So, you still have your S here, and you have your verb there, and you have your object. So, same pattern, S, B, O. Right? Now, for conversational Filipino, how do we start? We start with the V, with our verb. So, we say, kumukuha. Now, you, you don't use this one. You don't start your sentence with a linking verb. So, we say, kumukuha. Kumukuha ng... Oh, kumukuha si John, so we, we follow it with the S. Kumukuha si John ng isang larawan. Or if you want, you can remove the isang. So you say, kumukuha si John ng larawan. 
So now this your reason here, John, your subject will be here, and then your object will be here. So conversational Filipino, V S O. In the next lessons, we are going to study on other sentence patterns, and then we, still we are going to do this. We are going to write them first in English, translate them in formal Filipino, and then convert them into conversational Filipino. So that's all for today, guys. I hope you learned something. You can practice it at home. Watch my video again and then practice them at home. And um, if you have some comments or suggestions regarding our video, please write them below or you can send them directly to NACTV at wcgwave.ca. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and please like and share this video. See you again next week. Bye!